Okay, so um, I want to test out this unit. Uh, I've been having this uh, Raider for about four years and actually never done a review on it. Um, I bought it from eBay and it's made in Japan. Uh, just about uh, about 90 euros, so just under $100. And basically, um, this unit is comparable to the Swing Caddy unit, but it's about half its price and it's really reliable. Uh, durable actually um, it measures your distance your swing speed and it gives you a match factor um, let me show you how it works okay so I just want to point out the price on this unit is about a hundred euros compared to the swing caddy one which is 200 euros and the flight scope Mevo which is about 600 euros uh, if you look at the technical specifications, um, they all have the same thing. It's a Doppler sensor. So the only downside to it is that everything is in Japanese, all the instructions. But uh, it's quite easy to use. I don't think that, that poses any problems. Uh, all you have to do is put the, the club number and it will give you the readings. Okay, so you're supposed to set it up about a meter and a half, about a yard from... Um, from where you're hitting. So, like this. I'm gonna try out the pitching wedge first. So, here you can set up um, the different uh, clubs you have. You, you start from, um, you have your irons, and here is the pitching wedge. So I'll start with the pitching wedge. The only thing that it measures uh, meters per second and it will give you the yards even though here we use uh, meters. Let me try the pitching wedge. Now uh, the flag in the back is a hundred, exactly 110 yards. So, and I'm using range ball. They gave me a reading of 113, 113 yards, and I saw it land towards the flag a little bit to the left, so that's pretty good. Let me take a few more shots. Okay, so that gave me 110 meters, and it's pretty much in line with that. Uh, now, obviously, these are range balls. So, if you look at my video, my previous video, uh, you can see that the range balls go about 10% to 50% less than the premium balls. Uh, you can I have a link over here, where you can see. So, actually, I use this unit. For me, it works pretty good because I use it uh, in, in meters. I do my distance in meters, so. Um, I know that with a real ball, it will go, like for instance, this one is 108 yards, so I consider that meters, and it works out pretty good for me. So. Okay, so now I will try the 9 iron. All you have to do is just press it here up for the next iron here. This right here is the meters per second and swing speed, and this is the, the uh, ball speed, and this right here is the distance and the match factor. Let's see how it works with the 9 iron. Okay, that's pretty good. So that went, it says 100 and 118 yards and uh, I saw it pass the flag, so. I would say that's pretty accurate. Let me hit a couple more. Okay. So let me show you on that one. I hit it off the toe on that one. I felt it and it stayed short. And it, told, it said exactly 110 yards.
Okay, so now I'm gonna hit my 8 iron. Now I'm gonna switch to 8 iron. To seven iron, sorry. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my six iron. Okay, so now I want to show you the difference between this is the ball that I've been hitting and we have these other balls that are really really worn out and I'm gonna hit with my six iron and show you that this one's go way less than the other one and the radar detects that Okay, so now I'm gonna switch the settings to my driver and see how it reads. It has all these other settings, three wood, here we go, driver. So let's see how it goes. Hundred and ten yards. You can see that here. Two hundred and ten. And again, um, I would add a ten to fifteen percent more to that. Got it off the toe on that one. Right here, and it read one eighty-five. So. It tells you the distance, you know, if, if you if you don't hit it right in the in the uh, sweet spot, it will it will show you that the distance wasn't wasn't far. I mean, it will show you the actual distance. I hit it right over here. OK, guys, that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just keep in mind that if you're using wrench balls like I am, uh, you need to add that extra 10 to 15 percent more uh, to get your actual distance or do it like I do where you convert it to meters in my case it works pretty good one last thing that I want to mention is the size of the radar of the actual unit is pretty huge compared to the other units that I've seen uh, this unit you place it flat on the ground and if you look at the front part uh, it has a big screen a big radar there in front uh, as opposed to the other ones the, like the shrink caddy or the Mevo uh, where they're minute basically so I think that's why I, I, I get a good accurate reading in my opinion thanks for watching guys uh, if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel